How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of a... It's not a re-review. It's a batch variant review. Thank you very much. In the form of Ecliptic Brewing. This is their Vega. This is an experimental IPA series. And this be the Hazy 5.5% ABV version Strata Mutueka. Yeah, this was canned... Looks like five or six. No, it can't be six. Five something. 505 maybe something anyway it's about a month old give or take 5.5 percent shout out and mutueka and something else basically what it is is they have this little note here on the side it says the back number of this vega ipa rotational is printed on the bottom of this can learn more blah 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 they print the bottom of the can and is barely legible this comes from ecliptic um they send me stuff every now and then and i'll tell you what i reviewed uh, the first one they sent off to me um uh, this series i reviewed and i liked it quite a bit uh from the basic black and gray kind of label design, nondescript, nothing too crazy. It is literally the same thing, and they just basically have a bunch of stickers, and they print what's what on the bottom. I kind of like it, um, just because they get to do what they want to do with the beer. And, you know, you're talking about, it says 5.5%. It could be 6.5% for all I know. Yeah, that's a 6. I don't know, actually. No, it's a 6. It's got to be. So, let's say 6.5 for the conversation. That's a pretty hefty, kind of juicy kind of dense, a little bit soupy, kind of 6.5% haze action going on there. The head has a bit of rockiness to it. Not necessarily a bad thing, but typically in these 6.5% super hazy, you want this real tight, compact, creamy kind of head to it. So we'll see what's what, but it has that rich kind of orange, a little bit of cataracty edges, a hefty, dense kind of orange glow in the middle. Off to a good start. I'm getting citrus and craziness from a distance. It's got a nose. That smells awesome that smells awesome that smells awesome that smells like oh man I hate naming other beers or other breweries and other breweries reviews but man that smells like orange Julius let's put it that way it smells like this huge orange crazy rich delectable kind of orange confectionery thing it stops short of creamsicle. Excuse me. Gets a little bit of green on the edges. Not even a little, a decent amount, but that orange is so vibrant. Man, that smells real. That smells like super ultra top notch super haze. This is treehouse level stuff. This is fox farm level stuff. This is that level of stuff. And I'm pretty sure this is a shelfie. Again, uh, Ecliptic sends this stuff to me. And, uh,. So I don't know exactly their kind of distribution footprint on this because I know some stuff makes it out this way, but I'm not quite sure what gets out this way. But for a potential shelfie, this nose is absolutely bonkers. And for those playing along at home, for those who don't know, yes, Ecliptic sent this to me. You go watch my Ecliptic reviews tell me if I'm biased against breweries because there's been some quite a few misses from these guys. So, yeah, this smells absolutely awesome. Probably one of the best noses I've had in a hazy IPA in quite some time. Yeah, it smells awesome. i got to dive in. Cheers. Okay. It's tasty. Um, it's quite a bit muted based off of what the nose is giving you. It's giving you everything that it's telling you in the nose. You're getting that orange Julius thing. You're getting those orange vibes, a little bit of grapefruit. Um, nice um, kind of balance between bittering and sweetness. But if the nose is an 11, this is like a 7. Six and a half, seven. So it's definitely dialed back based off of what the nose is giving you. I thought it was going to get this delectable, slightly sweeter, kind of rich orange Julius level version of a beer. And what I'm getting is a... Um, balanced, not overly sweet, even though lean sweet, not overly sweet, kind of hazy, with a little bit of kind of, a little bit too much kind of carbonic acid kind of thing, beating down a little bit of those kind of rich, kind of uh, delicious citrus vibes. Decent mouthfeel. Everything is just dialed back. I thought I was going to get, like I said, this big creamy confectionery thing. But what it gives you is a little bit more gentle, a little bit more muted. Let's put it this way. Based off of the nose, I was like, there's no way this is a 6.5%. This has got to be more like 7, 7.5%. Based off the taste, I'm like, there's no way this is 6.5%. This is more like 5.5%. 5%. That's the difference between a nose and a taste. 
and that the way that kind of ABV, I'm not quite sure what it is, in one direction I want to be like, man, that's a crazy nose. And then in the other direction, I'm like, okay, it's quite tasty, but I think it's a little bit lower ABV than what they're giving you. So it's nice. It's tasty. It's one of the noses of noses. I mean, it smells absolutely fantastic, but it just doesn't follow through in a taste in the way you would hope it would. Let's put it this way. If this nose wasn't as bonkers as it was, and it was kind of dialed back, and I drank this, I think I might be a little bit more gaga for it, because it would be a little bit more in line with what you'd expect. But when you dive into a nose like that, and you get that rich, vibrant, again, orange space, Julius kind of thing going on, I kind of can't get help but get ahead of myself. And um, I think that's every beer drinker, you know? It's kind of a thing. You smell it. You're like, oh my god, I can't wait to dive into it. And when you dive into it, well, it's quite nice and tasty. It just misses the mark a little bit for you. Not to say I'm disappointed, but man, I wish I'd followed that nose. Man, I wish I'd followed that nose. Good God. Mm. Yeah, nice, soft, citrus leaning, not overly sweet, not overly bittering. Carbonic acid, a little bit too big for me. Kind of peels away a little bit of what I thought would be a little bit more vibrant of the beer. Done and done. Is this one of the better? Um, sub 7% hazies I've had as of late. It's going to be in the conversation, just not towards the top. I like it. If we're going to strip it down, is this one of the better smelling hazies that I've had as of late? It might be number one. That's how awesome the nose was on it. But it left me a little bit to be desired in the taste. So take that for what it's worth. Vagging availability. No idea. Somebody out there in ecliptic land or people that get this distroed by them, let me know what's what. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. If you like noses, man. Because this thing, I could huff this thing all day. It just smells great. It's, and it's a fine, well done hazy, especially for one of these kind of rotational, kind of experimental beers. It's tasty. It's delicious. I like it. I think it's fun. If I could get this on a shelf. If you said, okay, you can get this, because it's a bigger brewery that gets wide distro. If you say, okay, I can get this on a shelf for sub 14 bucks for a four pack, I would pick it up again. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it. Massive beers, if you want to check me out, doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive. If you want to check me out, doing the whole pocket thing, thing, I burped and said thanks. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a little uh, ecliptic right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.